What's up guys? So Timmy showing you on how do a change now. How do um, how to pretty much change the account. Um, an app is associated with in Google Play. So uh, this guy right here had first off he had two accounts attached to his device, which is a Pixel 2 running Android 9. Yes, Android 9. This was back in 2019. Android 9 is pretty um old now. Uh, today I noticed that the uh, phone app by Google has an option for my beta tester. I'm not able, unable to sign up for the beta on my main account because the app is associated with a different account. My secondary account on the device. I try to leave the beta, move in the secondary account, join the beta on my main account, add in the secondary account back. But once the second account is added, uh, the app associates the beta program to the secondary account. How do I change the associated with an app beta program? Anyhow, would be would greatly appreciate it. Thanks in advance. So, a lot of people have this issue, including me. I just want to give a little quick scenario. What happened to me is that I'm actually uh, part of the beta, uh, well, they call it the bug bashing, but we're actually, um, I'm actually, I would do work for TD Bank, I'm not sure if you guys knew, but um, I do actually test out the um, beta versions of the app before it gets released to the public. And short, um, long story short, I was actually getting this error when I was actually trying to um, pretty much get the beta version of the app on my Gmail account. Um, it kept giving me like this error. So um, I'm going to show you guys on how to fix it. For me, the fix was, um, it wasn't any, it didn't tell me how to leave the program. You guys can try to go to Google, um, like the place, Google Play Store, and go to your settings and go to your like manage your apps and then actually leave it from there. I had no luck doing that. But I guess because I wasn't in the beta program, um, so that was the issue. But it did take um, like a couple hours later. Um, sometimes Google is slow when you register an account to the beta program. But for me, I had to wait like a couple extra hours and then it just automatically, they were just vanished and let me pretty much beta test the app, which was pretty weird. Um, but also another issue that I came up across was if I'm on like my Yahoo account or whatever um, on Google Play Store, if I see, if I'm on my Gmail account and I try to join a beta program it says I can't join it with that Google account that Gmail account it says I have to do it with my Yahoo account so it's kind of weird um it's nothing to do with Yahoo or Google specific it's just that I think that I I joined a beta program on that Yahoo account originally so it's not letting me join it on my other Google account my other Gmail account so hopefully this helps you guys how to fix it you guys can see this dead right here oh what the <laughs> this dead right here guys so you guys can go to this link uh that's what works for him was Clear cache and data for the Google Play Store app, restarting and then um, opening the Play Store app again. Make sure it's logged into your preferred account. That's something you guys can try. I also try to have this link down in the description for you guys to check out. Um, yeah, this was a pain for me too. I was looking at this for like hours and then I realized that I tried to give it a couple more hours that for me for it to work. Um, but yeah, it's a little annoying figuring it out. It should not be this difficult. So the only way that it works for me, so this is the, the post I actually want to show you guys. Um, hopefully this post works for you guys. So I uh, pretty much would work for this guy Something that you can try out is that the only way I worked for him was to remove the Google Play account from his phone It's fine because you know, you can always add it back again and here are steps that they did so The phone was a little older. It's an LG V20 and on Android 7, which is pretty old So the first step is to remove or delete the app on the phone the app that you want to join the beta Testing app for obviously um, So once you remove that app you want to then clear the cache when deleting it uh, I didn't clear data. I was only I only cleared cache because I was scared that clearing the data would erase all my data on there, which it probably would if you're not saved onto an account. Next step is to look for the app again in the Play Store and look to see what account the app is associated with. It should say it towards the bottom when you click on the app from the what is it Play Store? I think <laughs> app source for Apple. Uh, after that, you want to go to your settings on your phone, general, and then accounts and sync, and then Google. Google on the account you want to remove. And then click on the three vertical dots on the top right corner. Click remove account. Go back to the Google Play and look for the app. When you click onto it now, it shouldn't say that your app is associated with any account anymore. Hope this helps. So I did uh, try this myself, like not the full thing, but um, I think what they're trying to say is you actually go to the uh, passwords and accounts uh, feature. So you just go to settings on your phone and then look up uh, passwords and accounts or look up sync or look up like uh, accounts. And that should come up for me. It came up with passwords and accounts. Once you guys are there, you don't click on Google. I think you guys you scroll down, you click on your Google account or your Gmail, wherever you click on your pretty much your email account. So let's say for me, I'm gonna click on branjawson at yahoo.com. I'll click on that, and there it says remove account. 
So I'm assuming that's where you want to remove the account. And then you would pretty much want to, uh, after you remove the account, then you go back to the Google Play Store and then you actually click on to the app and now it should be associated. Uh, it shouldn't be associated anymore. Um, you can also re-add it after you guys remove it. Um, you can, I would actually delete it and then um, try to beta program, test it on your other Gmail account or your other Yahoo account that wasn't working. I mean, email account that wasn't working and then go back to um, to re-add your other email account. So that's what I would do. Obviously every phone is a little different when it comes to settings. So this is kind of just like a basis of like what you guys want to do or where you want to go to. But your phone does, every phone does differ a little in the settings based on what phone it is, what Android it is, and also what version it's on. So yeah, I hope this helped guys. Um, yeah, thanks guys for watching and peace.